Let's welcome back to the show, Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Yeah. Mayor of Burlington and a proud supporter of the Oakville Blades. Of the Oakville Blades, yes. I, uh, we, I, I lost a wager on a game, and so I am wearing the resident in the back. It's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm very grateful that they... Uh, that they did this, but I have to wear it to regional council this morning. <laughs> yes, and I can see you're wearing it right now <laughs> for Morning Live. <laughs> yes, I am. I am, for hey, sure. That takes us to our first question. Now, there's a new directive from the region regarding indoor sports and recreational fitness. What's, uh, what's coming down as far as vaccination policy? Everyone will have to be a show... Pr Everyone will have to show proof of vaccination to get into those facilities. So coaches, participants, spectators, everybody. And this is really to keep everyone healthy and safe. There was information that came out from the COVID-19 science table that uh, people who are fully vaccinated have an 80%, 87% reduction in the risk of getting COVID. So the data is very clear that the, the vaccines are safe and effective. Yes, and uh, doing their job as advertised, but uh, we're not out of the woods yet. So also uh, at council, uh, you've extended the uh, outdoor patio uh, by law. You've extended it till the new year or spring. We have uh, to April 14th. So uh, folks who have a patio on private property will be able to keep that up. Uh, we are reclaiming some of our downtown, uh, downtown city streets and uh, sidewalks as we did previously, but we're also looking to uh, make sure that that patio tents can stay up. We've discovered, you know, we're good Canadians. We've discovered we like sitting outdoors in the in the cold. We don't have to. Now we have extended till April 14th. Yeah, hey, it works with the heaters, but yeah, and really that was behind it, wasn't it? That uh, it's, you don't want to lift these uh, things prematurely and we might be going back and having to do it again as far as Exactly, we things. don't want to. She's still frozen we don't want at the outdoor patio. It's, it's getting, <laughs> oh, she's back, sir. <laughs> I'm back. I'm sorry. I must have very wonky uh, internet connection this morning. Okay, but yes, well, we, got we you are. We are. Uh, we want to make sure that that we don't have to go back and forth. Uh, the lockdown, open, closed, open, closed, has been really disruptive for uh, our community, and so we're trying to give them some assurance that they can uh, they can at least plan till April. Okay. What new information was shared last night? There was a Zoom public information session on the uh, major transit hubs. Yes, we unveiled uh, the initial draft of what we call an area-specific plan for the Burlington GO station, and we adopt what's called a, pre a precinct model. So different areas in a region have different planning per permissions, and we put the biggest height right near the station, and then we scale it down to established neighborhoods. And of course, established neighborhoods are carved out completely from the growth uh, and intensification strategy. So. Uh, people got their first look at that and uh, you know there's a lot of great dialogue and questions about parking and transportation and how it was going to all unfold uh, it's still in draft form so get your feedback in if you uh, you know if you want to participate in shaping what the future will be we also know we need more than housing we need community centers we need uh, parks we need good jobs uh, so we can't just have a high rise with a dry, dry cleaner in the basement and right. you know call that mixed use yeah absolutely it is a balancing act and employment lands is important yes we need to protect those from residential development entirely because uh, those employment lands are really intended for uses that don't mix well with uh, residential, uh, you know, processing plants or heavy industrial uses uh, don't necessarily go side by side with residential, but you need to have a space for them, for those jobs and for those goods and services. So, uh, so we're going to protect those lands and then direct residential growth where it should be, which yeah. is near our go stations. Now, since we spoke last week, you hosted uh, Ontario's big city mayors in Burlington, and uh, this was discussed among uh, other things. What kind of insights did you get? Well, everyone is facing, everyone in Ontario, certainly Southern Ontario, is facing the pressures of growth. And in Halton Region, we have to accommodate 1.1 million by 2051. We're at about 600,000 now. So we're in the process of divvying up uh, the jobs and population growth among the four municipalities. But that's true right across Ontario. So we took uh, my fellow mayors on a tour of all three of our GO stations, talked about our planning process. And so it was a great 
great opportunity to share and have them see what it is that we're working on. Ah, uh, you froze again. You know, I thought it was warmer than that. We, we got to go anyways. It's time for I'm weather. back. <laughs> uh, we'll sort this out next week. Okay, for sure. We'll see you next week. Thanks for hooking up with us this morning. Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward.